discovered. 
Mrs. Rundle was apparently looking for romance after two failed marriages and had dated numerous strangers. Newspaper accounts noted that she had met someone at a local bar shortly after her dinner with then ex-husband Douglas Peltzer. That individual was never identified. According to information listed in the North Carolina Department of Correction records, Wilkinson would have been 17 years old at the time of the murders. Given Wilkinson's age at the time, even if he had been stationed at Fort Carson in February of 1985, it is highly unlikely he was the individual she met. The state of Colorado's liquor licensing required patrons to be at least 21 years old of age or older. And Mrs. Rundle appeared to be attracted to men within her age range. And Wilkinson appeared to be attracted to women within his age range. So now, going back to Wilkinson's confession. He was 24 at the time. He simply walked into a police station. And, um, that's how he described it. He said, She was asleep on the couch of her family's apartment. He broke inside the home and caressed her. And when she woke up, he began beating her on the head with a bowling pin that he found in the yard. Next, he went into a bedroom and found 11-year-old Larry Hudson Jr. and his mother, 38-year-old Judy Hudson. He beat them both to death. Both Judy and her daughter were sexual in his confession, Wilkinson, who is on death row in North Carolina, told something else that caught their attention. He said he had been peeking into people's windows for years and that his habit began in Colorado Springs, where he was stationed at Fort Carson in early 1985. So the timeline did place him in Colorado Springs around the time of February 14th. remain unsolved. So that is pretty much it for tonight's case. And these are my thoughts. I'm not sure that the argument of the age differences is valid enough. I mean, he was 24 years old when he attacked Judy and she was 30 so, quite a bit of a gap there as well. Um, but, assuming that he did kill the Rundles when he was 17, um, Cassandra was, um, I mentioned this, she was 37 at the time. So, you know,
this case. 